This is Barbara Millicent Roberts, but you might know her as Barbie. She's been a popular and timeless icon for generations, known by almost everyone in the world. Hi Barbie! 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 And this is her closet. It's right here in my closet. That's not a closet, that's a planet called fashion! <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the same pleasures in life as Barbie does. We aren't popular, we haven't lived for generations, and our closet isn't the size of the planet. In fact, we don't even know our neighbours, and our closet consists of clothes we wear only a couple of times before chucking them out to landfill. What would Barbie say to this? Well, she wouldn't say anything. She would actually do something about this. And hence, this is the idea behind my community service pitch, Triple F, Flipping Fast Fashion. Ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, our world has been in chaos. We were shut off from not only our neighbouring countries, but our own neighbours too. Australia has always been cut off from the rest of the world, but during the pandemic, it literally closed its borders and stopped most people, including me, from coming in or going out. According to the PMC, the need for community-led and state-supported initiatives focused on building resilience and support is clear. On top of that, 227,000 tonnes of clothing is being sent to landfill each year in Australia alone, and so the need for more sustainable infrastructure to recycle textiles is abundant. After surveying local community members about their experiences, mostly all of the 50 respondents stated that they lack connections with the community, and they wanted to feel connected to those around them. Many of them also said they usually donated their clothes to family members or charities and liked thrifting. The need for a joint solution is evident. So how does Triple F aim to solve these problems? Triple F aims to bring together individuals in a community and save clothes from landfill by holding monthly clothing swaps in underused community venues like school holds, scout holds, and retirement home holds. Individuals are encouraged to bring clothing that are in good condition, without stains or rips, and are welcome to thrift from other people's clothing. The initiative is volunteer-driven, with opportunities for community members and young adults to gain a sense of connection with others and vital work experience. Unlike existing initiatives like Salvos, Triple F is focused on building connections within micro-communities, and all the clothes taken are free. I hope to begin this initiative in Woi Woi and expand to other micro-communities on the Central Coast as a way to leave a lasting legacy. Social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram will be used as a reminder about the swap days and as a way to connect and gain more attraction for individuals in the local community as well as bring more awareness about fashion waste and fast fashion by photographing the event, people, and the clothes that they bring. To improve the initiative, surveys can be conducted to gain feedback from participating individuals. We also hope to have mutually beneficial relationships with the hired venues to further establish connections within the community and work with clothing brand organizations and salvos to donate the clothing not taken by community members. I ran a pilot test of the initiative with a small group of participants to gain feedback and see how I could further improve it. All the participants said they felt more connected to the other individuals after the test and said they would love to participate again in a bigger group with more clothing options. They also said that a reminder before the day would be needed as a few people forgot to bring their clothes. All these improvements were considered to improve the final initiative. We may not be as close to Malibu perfection, but with your support and engagement, I strongly believe that we can build stronger connections within our community and work towards more sustainable use of clothing. The power to change the world is within us all. We may not be the biggest person or have the biggest voice, but as Thumbelina once said, even the smallest person can make a big difference.